Explorer number one. What lies beyond the horizon, he marvels. Curious, he sails north and discovers a place which he calls Britannic, an island in Parsons. He observes that the peaceful and tattooed people of Britannic live in comfy thatched cottages and have tent for exchanges. Moving on, he sails up the Arctic and the Baltic Way where he sees the midnight sun's rays. On his way home, he stops by the coast of Germany where he picks up beautiful amber stones cheerfully. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this explorer is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Pythias Lomarsegui, a famous explorer from ancient Greece. He is the first to reach Britain, the Arctic, Baltic and Germany. Explorer number two. King Darius I of Persia orders him to check where the waters of the Indus River run. Infested by giant crocodiles, he says that the exploration is far from exciting and fun. But then he discovers India, a place so beautiful under the sun. Hurriedly sailing down and up till he reaches the Suez port, he hops down to report to King Darius what he found, one by one. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this explorer is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Skylax of Cariandra, a renowned explorer from ancient Greece. He is the first to have given an account of India. Explorer number three. He says that exploration is not just come and go or a hello and goodbye to you affair. To explore a place, you must stay in there to know it's every corner and people with care. And so arriving in India as Ambassador Seleucus I, Nicator, he then explores the land far and near. He marvels at India's biggest elephant stomping loud and clear. Its people, he adds, are tall, strong like Hercules and healthy, as harvest is abundant everywhere. All these observations and more can be found in his book Indica for you to read and share. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this explorer is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Megasthenes, a historian, explorer and diplomat. He is the first to give a detailed account of India in his book Indica.